All right, man, talk to talk. 12 o'clock. <laughs> Twelve o'clock show. Sorry, I look like Ray Charles. Twelve o'clock show. So look, man, or oh, Stevie Wonder actually. Um, so look, we're gonna talk about decoding squabble up video, and this this is very interesting because there's a lot of stuff I think people missed. You know what I'm saying? And there's some things that we're gonna discuss in this. You know, I got to get a legendary spill. This is Torch Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscriptions today. All the beautiful, single, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is in the description, Cash App. You know what I'm saying? They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. You know what it is. King of the North, let me know what kingdom are you from? Are you from the kingdom of Los Angeles, LA, the kingdom of Camden, New Jersey, the kingdom of, you know, I don't know. Any kingdom you from, let me know. So we're going to get right to it. We'll be back to discuss. All right, so let's go, man. <laughs> Let's decode this. Let's listen to this. Let's go. Kendrick's squabble up music video is packed with layers, callbacks, and cultural references. One of the biggest takeaways is that Kendrick might be hinting at a double album. Two of the referenced albums in the video, Isaac Hayes' Black Moses and Nate Dogg's G-Phone Classics, are double albums. And the second volume of the Nate Dogg album is what's spinning. When you combine this with him hinting at an appearance at the Compton Christmas Parade on December 14th, it wouldn't be surprising if another project was on the way. He's also clearly been planning... Now, I was saying that I believe that Kendrick has either... I believe, and this y'all might think this is crazy, but I believe he has a double album of this, and I believe that he has an actual different album coming before the Super Bowl. I think this is just a double album project that he split into two. You know what I'm saying? And this way, he can, he can have one go off and then another one go off, but I think this next album is going to be totally different from these albums. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I think it's it's a double album because in the in the first the G, uh, GNX video um when he has when they open up the curtains there's two cars instead of one and everything is in twos. You know what I'm saying? Everything is in twos if you pay attention to a lot of stuff, everything is in twos. But it's two cars and this is the first. And I also this is just my theory. I believe that this one this album here represents the crip side of LA and of, of California. That's what I believe. And I believe the other one is going to um, represent the other. The second one is going to represent the blood side. That's what I believe. Now I'm not, now I ain't hear that. I'm just thinking that to myself. You know what I'm saying? So tell me, let me know if the, if y'all, if y'all think that that is something that's true. So let's keep it going this album for a while. The scene with the kid controlling the hydraulics on the car with a remote control directly ties to a post on Kendrick's Finsta years ago, where he's seen as a child playing with a remote control GNX, the same car his father owns. The video in the song opens with Kendrick saying, I am, which reminded me of the heart part five, when he started with a quote saying, I am all of us. The full phrase reinforces the reincarnation theme woven throughout the album. The soul train stop. Now, I, you, know, you know the whole, that all comes from the Bible, I am, and all this stuff. And I'm looking at this dude here, and he does look like, he kind of looks like, uh, what was that movie? The Eddie Murphy and the, uh, oh, Coming to America. Coming to America, right? Uh, who was it? Sexual Chocolate. Not Sexual, not Sexual Chocolate. Yeah, he looks like Sexual Chocolate. Because it was the other dude in Coming to America. The, pre the preacher, Ar Arsenio Hall. But Sexual Chocolate was the Eddie Murphy. Let's keep it going. A board reads Omnia est a liquid, Latin for everything is something, which isn't just a nod that every symbol in his videos, everything in his music is calculated. It's a callback to Kendrick's belief that societal change begins with personal transformation. Even the set itself is a tribute to the roots' his next movement music video. This reference feels deliberate given. Yo, that's crazy. I didn't even I didn't even pay attention to that. Yo, that's crazy. I know. Listen, bro. I know when the roots seen that. I know they felt good. I know Black Thought felt good. This guy, Kendrick, bro, 
He's bro, yo, this guy Kendrick is amazing, man. He's putting himself in position with everybody everywhere, bro. And when he says he's everybody, I am, I'm all of us, bro. He's really, he's really pointing out a lot of these artists that I mean, don't get me wrong, the roots is definitely uh one of the biggest groups of all time, but they don't really get a lot of recognition for what they did for hip hop as far as them being the only, I believe, the only hip hop band ever. You know what I'm saying? I just think the roots were, they were so good, man. They were so good. And they don't really get the recognition that they deserve. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it going. Slove's recent comments about hip hop being dead after the Kendrick Drake beef. Kendrick is in dialogue with that narrative here, potentially responding by positioning himself and the year that he's had as a reincarnation of hip hop. This video is also a deep love letter to Cali culture, from LA to the Bay. The green freeway sign at the start mirrors the sign you'd see when entering Compton. You got crumping, low riders, cholo dance parties, tributes to Nate Dogg and Ice T, the Mexican Catholic style candlelight vigil, all coming together to celebrate the intersection. Yo, it's so crazy how. Kendrick Lamar has done so much in this one music video that a lot of people are going to be like, yo, I, yo, because when I first seen the music video, you all, you got to understand, Rhapsody said it best on the Joe Button podcast. She basically said that Kendrick Lamar doesn't do anything unless it has a purpose. And I'm telling y'all now, everything that he does is a purpose to it. And it's probably some stuff. It could be them damn lines on the uh, on the wall over there. It could be something with that. You know what I'm saying? Like everything he does. And I like how he's incorporating all of everybody, all the different cultures that's in California. You know what I'm saying? All the different cultures that's in California. I love it, man. This is amazing, man. Amazing work. Of black and Mexican culture in California. The little boy on the power wheel nods to menace to society. It mirrors a scene where a child's innocence is a contrast to the surrounding violence, a consistent theme in Kendrick's work, being a good kid in a mad city. He also shows a lot of love to the Bay. The high fee t shirt and scraper bike reference legends like Keek the Sneak and Trunk Boys. The digital belts, the girls taking photos. Bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. It, yo, the way he's, the way, yo, it's so crazy how he positioned everything. In this in this music video, and and it's it like I said, man. Instead of you know what I'm gonna say this, man. I'm gonna say it at the end. So let's keep it going. Photos in front of the pink heart backdrop are all nods to classic 90s, 2000s trends in photo studios, grounding the video in Cali nostalgia. The painting of Black Jesus in the background, but that painting having a price tag on it, as well as this moment where Kendrick is holding the sign that says Jesus saves gangsters too, is an interesting commentary on religion when it comes to- Damn, that's crazy. And that's kind of like, uh, that what's that Pac song? Uh, is there heaven for gangsters? I think that's the name of the song. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of flipped that. That was dope. And then the Isaac Hayes thing, and then the Jesus, uh, the Jesus symbol for sale. I just want to know, what does the chandelier mean, yo? Why is the chandelier there? Is it like, is it something that we're trying to reach? Because oh, all black people wanted them chandeliers in their house. That could be that. Because I remember back in the day, I, I always wanted my dad to get a chandelier. I'm like, I like that. Get one of those. Like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It was just something that I just wanted. My father to grab, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my mom lived in an apartment, so my dad lived in a house. And you could look upstairs, and you can see all the way upstairs. And I always thought that he should have got a chandelier. Like, get a minute. Like, I wanted to get a real big one, too. But I wonder why he has that in there. What's the reference? Black cultural identity. I think it's interesting that he's positioning Black Jesus as something for sale. Him holding the sign is kind of like someone advertising something on the street. But I can't really clock if it's a criticism of Christianity or just a straightforward positive message about spiritual resilience. You gotta remember that throughout the Mr. Morale rollout, Kendrick repeatedly portrayed Jesus as both a divine figure and a reflection of the struggles and contradictions within humanity. This visual cements Kendrick's ongoing exploration of faith and redemption, blending it with themes of Black salvation and street culture. The video also features Storm DeBard, who previously appeared yeah, that 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 girl, she was in in uh not like us video. She's there, she's still back there dancing too. Yeah, she be going off.
Do not like us. Showcasing Kendrick's commitment to elevating black women and their contributions to Cali dance culture. The hook of the song is also slightly altered, making the lyrics difficult to catch. Something Kendrick's done before, like in the intro to the Humble video. I gotta point out this how to be more like Kendrick book moment. I don't think it's that deep, it's just funny. This moment shows the pain. Yeah, that's funny. That was funny. How to how to <laughs> how to be how to be more like Kendrick for dummies. <laughs> That was funny. I like that. I like that. Let's keep it going. African flag, but it could also be a slight nod at Ebony Prince, who has the flag as his Twitter profile picture, who I made a whole video on here, but it's basically just the hotel employee that gave Kendrick the photo of Drake's items that he used as a cover for Meet the Grams. This music video isn't just a tribute, it's a celebration. With these references, Kendrick is cementing his status as a leader through being a student of hip hop. Let me know if there's anything I missed down below, and as always, thanks for watching. Yeah, that was a pretty good video. I like that. I'm sure there's going to be more breakdowns. Um, there was a couple of things I believe he missed, too, like the iced tea. Uh, and then also, too, um, let me go back. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Go back a little bit. Okay, so the girl, that's a reference from Ice -T, one of Ice T's cover arts of his album. And this is from right here. I believe this right here is from... Uh, uh, what's um not menace? Uh, what's that? Uh, Jungle Fever. When uh Radio Raheem did that, you know what I'm saying. Now, I don't know if this person here is representing that, but I remember Radio Raheem. He 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 did like that. You know what I'm saying. And I could be somebody else in another movie, but I remember Radio Raheem put that in the movie. So I don't know what <clears throat> what this actually means right here of the chicks chick taking the guy's belt. I don't know what that means. That could mean something I don't know. Um, he did get knocked out by this dude. Well, he actually knocked him out. Then this girl knocked him out, and then now they're taking his belt. Maybe that was a thing back in the day. I don't know about that. But either way, pretty dope, pretty interesting. Yeah, so that was pretty dope. Decoding the Squabble Up video. I love it, man. I love it. I love it. Um. So let me know what y'all think, man. If there's anything that y'all have seen in the Squabble Up video that y'all think should be, you know, expressed or decoded, put it in there. And if there's anything that, that I missed or he missed, let me know. All right, man. I'll see y'all. I'm out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye. 12 o'clock show over. 6 o'clock show coming up.